Hello everyone, this is Steve Thomas. I'm here at the Covenant Technology Partners 8th Annual IT Leadership Summit. There's this beautiful banner behind uh, displays for us. And I'm here with a good friend of mine, Jerry Walker, who's also the CIO for the uh, City of St. Louis Treasury, Treasury Office. And Jerry just finished making a great presentation. And Jerry, thanks for being here. Thank you, thanks for having me and thanks for the opportunity to uh, speak to everyone here. Now, why in the world is anybody here, you get all these major corporations, you get all these, uh, you know, uh, strong international corporations, why are they interested in what's happening in the City of St. Louis Treasury Department? Well, I think, I think it is because the, the, in the past, the Treasury, the Treasury Department has always been in kind of like that old school, not much innovation out of that, you know, office. And with the uh, treasures that's in there now, uh, Treasurer Shara Jones, she, her innovative ways and her forward thinking has pushed us to implement new technology. And so this is something new for the city that has not been seen uh, since the treasurer's office inception. So I think a lot of people are interested to see what are, you know, when, the, when we do these new innovative technology uh, projects, uh, you know, I think it, it sparks a lot of interest because they haven't seen it, you know, even out of City Hall. So I think it becomes a real big thing that people want to know about. Well, that was very interesting, even though the Treasury Department talking about parking revenue and those kind of things. I mean, you were getting a lot of head nodding and a lot of agreement from everyone in the office, they're, they're in the audience. They're all seeing the same things. They're all worried about IoT. They're always all worried about right. security. They're all worried about you know the uh, you know data loss prevention. So a lot of the notes that you hit on, everybody was going, yes, yes, I see that. We have that too. Did you feel the same way? Yeah, yeah, a absolutely. Um, as I was given there, you know, you did get a lot of feedback. You could see a lot of people, at, you know nodding and, and seeing that a lot of things that we were implementing it was like oh yeah that's that's a great thing not only that but because they've actually seen it you know seen it work and so you know you were getting a lot of feedback from that too and uh even afterwards get a lot of questions you know and, and hey you know yeah let me hear more about this you know that you guys are doing over there so yeah i have gotten that now, I love what you said about how this really starts with great leadership, and it wasn't until new leadership came in and brought new leadership in, like yourself, that things really started to change. That's got to be so important. Yeah, you know, it is because for us who's been in IT for, you know, for over 15 years, you know, a lot of times we get asked to implement something, but it never really takes off the way that we want it to because for it to really move forward, you have to have buy-in from leadership, and it has to come from the top. Because if, if the one at the top is pushing new technology, then it's easier for us to implement, easier us to push out, uh, and you have that spokesperson who's champion that calls for you. And so with uh, uh, Treasure Jones, I mean, yes, yeah, she was with it immediately, and she'll tell you she's a, a self-proclaimed tech nerd herself. So she loves to see new technology and stuff. So I think it was, you know, I think it's one of those things where it's extremely important where you have that leadership that's willing to do that and push forward on that to move sure. technology. Now it's so important to have unified command and control along with the team. It's also enthused about the same project. You know, <clears throat> I, I guess I'm excited about the city of St. Louis. Uh, having better capability of giving me a ticket whenever I do one. I guess I'm excited about that, but uh, but also the other technology you put in the hand for the users in order to be able to you know add more time to their meter from their phone and some of the other. Talk a little bit about some of the modern modernization that's gone on for the uh, consumer as well. Yeah, yeah, so you know, a, a lot of things, so in the past, especially with the parking, uh, it was always uh, cash only, and, and especially on street parking, those were always coins, um, you know, nickels, dimes, and quarters. And so a lot of times consumers only had one way of paying it, but we had gotten into an era now when no, nobody really carries cash like that. It's yeah. usually either credit card or debit card. Right. And so we had to find a way to make it easier. And so the, you know, the Treasurer Jones wanted to say, hey, we need to bring credit cards. We need to, do, we need to make it easier for our citizens to mm -hmm. pay. So we did that with the, uh, with the uh, pay by phone, which is Park Louis or Park Mobile app, which you can find on both Android and the iPhone. Um, and then we also did it where you could pay a, a pay credit card at the either at the pay station or at the meter itself, as well as coins. So it made it easier. And so what what we found was that people were more willing to pay for parking than they have in the past. So which was great for us because you know it, it, it lessened our ticketing and it, it made the, the constituents a lot happier about yeah. being able to pay. So you made it more convenient. Correct. More convenient. Correct. So a lot of new things are coming up still too. I know you talked about we had a nice little session talking about Power BI and doing some data presentation. So, uh, what's next on the horizon for you? You've already conquered a couple of Himalayas. What's the next one? Data. So it's all about data now. So, so what we're doing is as we're still improving the systems that we have currently uh, and making changes to it. The the biggest thing now is is data. We have all this data. We have massive amount of data. Now, how do we take that data and make it 
work and make it something that we could use to entice more people to move to the city of St. Louis, hmm. uh, have more um, have more vendors, have more you know companies come into the city uh, because we can provide that type of data on what that looks like for the city of St. Louis downtown, you know, because we could see a lot of this data now. So I think for us it, it is that and Power BI looking at that and seeing how that can work for us and give us that and those type of analytics and, and business intelligence to say, uh -huh. hey, this is what we're seeing and this is what we could do with it. So that is the big ne the next big step. And of course, as you know, that's a huge uh, that's a huge deal and a huge undertaking. So yeah. So we're hearing a lot today about IT as a um, a servant leader. You know, how you're doing servant leadership and trying to help the other businesses out and really at the same time uh, solving their problems sometimes before they even see they have those problems. Or do you see that same trend going on within the city right now? So yes, yeah, so when you say city, yes I do. I see that a, I see a trend that needs to happen. We definitely see that trend in the treasurer's office because that's something that we're focused on on how do we do that. Right. Uh, but as far as the city goes, I think I think that's part of what leadership is, which we were talking about before. And as we all know, there's new leadership coming up, uh, new voting, you know, new new mayor is going to come in. So whoever that is, needs that needs to be a big big part of it because that trend needs to move that way. Because again, you have really great uh, T-Rex out here. You have uh, uh, um, the other one that the uh, uh, oh my god, the Cortex. Cortex. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. Cortex out here. So you definitely need that coming from the city as well. If we're going to make this a tech hub for the city of St. Louis, we definitely need to be moving that way. So yeah, you're absolutely right. Well, we wish you the best of success. Again, thanks for being here and being part of our big day today. And hope you enjoy this. Hope you enjoy the event. Hope you get some uh, good new connections and allies out of this that you can share your networking and ideas with and get feedback from them as well. That's kind of what this is all about today. Absolutely, absolutely. It's been a, it's a great event. Uh, Definitely great networking to hear what everybody else has to say. So cool. thanks a lot. Oh, my pleasure. Jerry, good to see you again. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.